Good evening and welcome to another episode of the Coach's Box. Ray Halbrook here with live stream SEO. Um, we are doing this, the simplified show. The reason why is because these guys are crazy. Number one. But we're doing a simplified show because we are we're normally at uh, we're normally here all the time, but uh, we are. Uh, I just got done doing a basketball game over Crystal City, by the way. Crystal City boys, big winners tonight, and uh, we're gonna open up the. I normally open up the stuff here, but it's all open. You can see the little the little ball over there, that little blue ball, and uh, that's our microphone for the night. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we're gonna see if this is gonna work with us or not. Blue ball. <laughs> it's not my blue ball. Oh, who's blue ball? <laughs> it's, it's, it's Ray's blue ball. It's the blue ball. <laughs> hey, it's, it's that's the brand. That's the brand name too. It says it, it says on there. Blue. 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 It's a ball, and it's blue. There you go. <laughs> Just, yeah, I just love this. Uh, this is good stuff. Yeah, so uh, you know we're we're here. We're unannounced. It's all good. We're gonna, we're gonna do it live. We're gonna do it live. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's this is already intense. As Jim Powers would say, we are off the rails. He said, "Oh, he said, oh, boy. I know, right?" <laughs> Shooty says, "What's louder, the music or Jarvis's shirt?" <laughs> yes, nice, nice shirt. yes. I know. I said, "I'm gonna get nothing but grief about my shirt." Look, it was my wife's birthday. I had to get dressed up. I don't get dressed up. <laughs> she liked this shirt, so that's why I wore it. You gotta make sure you make her happy well, right. because the, it's important for your windows. Yes. Yes. Your windows are the most important. Yes. You got to make sure. Well, we opened the windows the... really wide today because it was so nice out. <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> no it doubt was, on that. Hey, we went from having zero degrees last Monday, <laughs> 65. It's it like negative something. Yeah, like it, was six, seven, yeah. it was bad. But now, hey, everybody's windows are open. <laughs> Hope so. Everybody's in a better mood. We hope so. Anyway. Well, everyone here looks like a good mood except Ray. I mean, <laughs> he's the only one that's a little sour. Yeah, you should have seen him. He came in and dumped that case. Did you see the video? That was that big sound. Uh, that's what that was? Yeah. Oh, hey. he's getting his face. Hey, he, he, he was coming here anyway. anyway. He was announcing his presence with authority. Yes, he did. <laughs> I have no comment. So who won? Crystal, was it Crystal Bismarck? Yeah, it was a farm burner. Yeah. They was it? Heavy. No, Crystal City destroyed him. I figured. About 30. Plus. That's a good win. Oh, it went 100 to nothing. Uh, or uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah. have to go there later in the we... show. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't know. I didn't see an agenda for the show. Tonight. We don't have one. Oh, what's an agenda? <laughs> we <laughs> have agendas. It's all right here. <laughs> the agenda is I'm going to eat. Dinner. Fine. Yeah, I see that. It's awesome. You're gonna be loud while you're eating dinner. Oh, on that that yeah, that blue ball is gonna pick up all those <laughs> stuff coming out of your mouth. It's gonna, uh, yeah. Chris has an obsession with this blue ball already. I I'm just saying. It's, uh, it's right there. Here it's we right go. There. It's interesting. <laughs> I hope it's right there. Are we gonna talk about sports? <laughs> hey. uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, Come down to La Pachanga. You can have a nice quesadilla like I am right now. <laughs> what are you taking home to the wife? She's probably already ate. She's actually on here, by the She's way. She's always happy yeah. wife, happy life. That's, that's right. her yeah, statement. That's, She's yeah, that's why I got this shirt on. That's there it is. Why am I not seeing these is. comments? Oh, it's all right. Spe- hey, speaking of shooting, i got to make an announcement. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Mr. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, you got breaking news? Oh, uh, breaking news from oh, uh, Chris oh, Miller. Oh, oh. And... Um, uh, go. Wait, oh, go. Sorry. Matt Schutte has been accepted for a new position as the president of St. Francis Borgia High School. Wow. What? Congratulations. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. Big, Happy Matt for Mr. Schutte. Schutte. Yeah. Hey. 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 First guys on our show. Yeah. I mean, I... Wow! Yeah, it put the press, <laughs> the Archdiocese put the press release out today. He came and talked to me a little bit, and I'm happy for him. And for him. we're all happy for him at Pies. He's done a great job for us, and 
I hate to see him go because he is a good friend and a lot of fun and does call. We'll still like make that. fun of him on here. Oh, he'll still <laughs> probably watch the show. But, you know, it's uh, I'm happy for him. And, See, that's uh, the reason why we've had him on assignment, assignment for so long. He's been oh, because that's, oh, that's exactly going to get well, um, promoted. Yeah. promoted. Now, we, we, play at Saint, we play at Borgia next year, so I told him, I said, you got to call our game. That'd be fun. So, so you played at Ray, home this Just year, so right? you know, you yeah. can travel out to Washington, Missouri. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to give me that date. <laughs> there you go. So this is this is show number forty nine. Forty nine. Forty nine. Forty nine. Forty nine. So, you know, coming up on a year. Yeah. Who would have thought? Shows. Who would have thought? So uh, we're gonna have some some, some we good are. things. It's almost to that. Ooh, yeah. that Jerry. I guarantee you will have to have to go down to the Jarvis basement for our one year anniversary. Hey, it's going to be it's going to be open. Hey, <laughs> I am not accepting any more renters. <laughs> uh, one just getting out today, actually. You know, so yeah. Shooting wants to know if he could borrow your shirt for the inauguration. This new job. Uh, you not the right colors. Better than this. It's not the right colors. Man. Oh, right that's colors, true. Man. Not the right I, colors. Oh. I was gonna say I would say something to Tara Levin. This live mic would not be good if she comes over here. No, so. we gotta be very careful. Live we mic, gotta be very we careful. We have no filters. That's, not yeah, that's true. That's we right, have Maddie filters. Deering. That's right, Maddie Deering. Uh, love it. That's all your players. That's probably <laughs> Brian yes, and Maddie's. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. Is Brian, Brian can sign out of his? <laughs> he signed out of his. Yeah. What's the password? What's the password? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, you know, me and me and McVeigh actually have some free time now. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. I've got, uh, got a little bit of time. You going to work on your golf game? Well, baseball starts next week, so uh, no. Okay. Well, no. All right. No. But, uh, Where are you coaching baseball at? Down in North County. Yes. Junior, high. Junior high baseball? Mm-hmm. So. I, I, I think that is something, if there's any JCC schools around, that's probably something that they need to get on um, quick, fast, and in a hurry because I think it's great down there that all those MAAA schools that are, agree, that are doing the junior high baseball, it's, it's really helping the different programs. I mean, it's, it's a lot of them are small schools already, and it helps out when they do the fall ball. So, yeah, I mean, they're just they're playing a lot of ball down there. I mean, that's good. That's, I'm happy for them. I mean, I, I think that, that that's, uh, you know, pretty... By the way, I had to share. Live for Life beat the number one seed in our tournament, Bishop DeBerg, 23-22 tonight. 23 to 22. That yeah, was a score? Final. Yeah. Man, they must have watched Northwest play. <laughs> that was just really the same thing. I'm going to say that the officiating was probably a little different you know, tonight, too, compared to our game. Wow, 23 I was about ready to call DFS and talk <laughs> about some uh, abuse wow. that they let happen. Wow. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't understand. You, we, we talk about this off the air. I understand why Mission makes us fill out all those recommendations for officials. Yeah. Yeah. We get, we don't get any officials we've seen yeah. all year, yeah. and well, it's just got off. So I don't know. I'm not gonna even. We haven't played yet, so I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> you guys will be fine. Yeah, you guys be south. all right. Yeah, south. But we had two. We hosted a game yeah. and played a pious. So six oh. referees, none of them jumped some cattle. Yeah. Well, there's none doing my game. From yeah, we didn't. I, I haven't had, I haven't had anybody yeah. who's from from our area. So, I mean, it, it must be nice. I mean, it must be a different style of basketball when you can <laughs> give me the damn ball, and that's what happened. But it's cool. You, you guys didn't have the pleasure of playing at Fox this year. <laughs> no, we did not. Fox came to our place and played. But all that considered, I was proud of our kids. We we, we had a chance to. To win the game, I thought we were only down four in the fourth quarter, despite you know all the abuse that happened. <laughs> it uh, ended up being eight because we had to foul. We you know just it, it was it was good for our kids. Um, you know and we didn't they didn't complain about the officiating. I was doing the one to complain. I but, can't believe that. <laughs> but I was complaining. Yeah. Honest to God, and you guys have seen a little bit of the, the huddle video I showed earlier. It was bad. Uh, hey. I held my composure, What's and I did get a tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so one, 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 two, 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 two three, three. You got it. Uh, there you go. Just like that. Well, you both, you both, so you had one district win. 
Yeah, right. One district. And you win. also had a district yeah. win. First district win in I think what six years. So that's good for the program. Yeah. I mean, I wish we could have played more games this year, but it's it's fine. Uh, I think where we finished thirteen five. So it's fortunate that we get games. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I talked to coach Coach Till in our AD, and I said if we get if we get ten games in this year with all the nonsense. That's a win in itself. I mean, they're playing 18 games. I mean, they said 10 to win, 15 is good. I mean, it could be like the state of Illinois over there. Oh, what about it's Illinois? It's just playing games, no state series, no oh, season. Nothing. Really? Yeah. Illinois. That great state? The great state of Illinois. It, yeah, nobody state. says that. Unless they're being sarcastic. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm being sarcastic or not. I saw you a do. great picture from Illinois today. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Again. Yes, that was a great picture on the old <laughs> Facebook. She did. She posted a good one on me today. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, that's good stuff. I'll, I'll check it out. We, oh, need to put, we need to put on the coach's box. It's website. on my timeline, so just go ahead and check it out. That's cool. I'll do it. No worries. <laughs> we make sure it makes it on the show tonight. I mean, it makes it perfect sense. You work for Pepsi. Yeah, some big old bottle caps. Eyes of <laughs> Man, those are some thick. You must be like 20, 100, or whatever it is. I don't know. Pretty How close. blind are you? Yeah. Pretty close. Pretty close. That's all right. I guess I can pull that thing up so you guys can it see. It reminds you know? me of our brother. He had those big old bottle caps, too. <laughs> hey, did you have the Rex Fix, though, growing up? Yeah, yeah. I was saying, I did oh, too. Yeah. I did too. Oh, yeah. They, they so eat. you guys defeated who? We uh, we we beat the bird, Bishop the bird, um, and then we played St. Pius. Uh, so oh, those are some oak bottles. How blind are you? Yes, they are, Ray. I'm gonna zoom in on this sucker. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, bring it. Look at that ball. It is. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Look at those suckers. That was the 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 coach Riley Blair is seven years old right there. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Awesomeness right there. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, that's I, awesome. All right. I enjoyed that picture today. <laughs> I bet everybody gave me a good chuckle. we will be sharing that uh, quite a bit. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Uh, <laughs> I was some kind of meme out or something. <laughs> uh, I don't even yeah. know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know. You never do. Yep. <laughs> no. By the way, Brian Deering says that's not him. <laughs> well, you know. Well, at least you had your shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Uh, uh, man, uh, about the show. Uh, oh, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, we're going to try to do something fun, though, for our, our one year. Yes, we need to. Yeah, we do. We need to. We, I think we should. I think we should go to the to uh, place the where it all started. Yeah. Oh, we can do it. I'm yeah. fine. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Is your internet good? Well, my internet's the same. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you remember I'm a teacher, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't upgrade the internet. Any. A lot of things have changed over the last year, especially with live stream STL. That's true. Yeah, I'll tell you that. As you say, there's more juice. There is a lot more juice. juice. More juice. juice. More juice. More juice. juice. More juice for the juice. Uh, I think we're okay right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, how about big news? Nash is Tiger. Oh, my gosh. I mean, he done, isn't he? I don't know. I, I haven't heard Well, at least he hit beat with a golf club this time yeah. with a car accident. Ooh, I know. He's lucky. <laughs> He's yeah. lucky. He's very yeah. lucky. What's the update? Did anybody hear the update yet? I, I, la- yeah. Last I'd heard. He had surgery. Sad surgery. That's all last I'd heard. I didn't hear anything else at that point. Yeah. I haven't heard anything else except compound fracture. And, really? That's yeah. one of those sports I don't follow a whole lot. Golf? I mean, I follow Wood, Tiger Woods. That's about it. Well, that's, mm-hmm. Somebody had to because I called 911. <laughs> ECFS had to stop by the restaurant. What? Somebody on here said it sounds like BCFS had to stop by the restaurant. Yeah, I don't get Why? that, but whatever. Shooty. Shooty, I don't oh. know what he's talking about over there. <laughs> Can you enlighten us, Mr. Matt, Shooty, on what that comment means? I don't know what I'm doing back It's all right. But, yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it sucks because I think Tiger was kind of waffling sure. around if he was going to go and play at the Masters. Yeah, yeah. Because his back was hurting, now his legs are hurting. Oh, I guarantee it they are. <laughs> He's got pain meds, he's good. He ain't feeling anything. <laughs> he's very lucky. Yeah. Yeah, and seeing it. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. You gotta be removed with the jaws alive? Yeah, that's, that's a, it's gotta be a, 
Straight up. Right yeah. There. But um, and what else is happening in national well, sports? I mean, Cardinals. Wait, it's Cardinals spring training. Spring training. Spring training. That's good to see up. Good to see him starting it up out there. Mm-hmm. Curious to see what you know what actual spring training looks like. Um, I've heard looks rumblings. like a bunch of guys playing baseball. Well, I've heard <laughs> rumblings that they're going to push back and uh, they're not going to allow any fans. At spring training, and I could see something like that. I don't know if they're gonna maybe try and keep everybody, you know, the five, six teams that are local, uh, maybe keep it on that schedule. I, you know, I don't know, but I tell you, I think there's gonna be a lot of questions that the Cardinals are gonna have to answer going forward. One, they've got to figure out a lineup. Two, I, I still say and we we always talk about this, but I think pitching, starting pitching, they're gonna have to find out. Carlos Martinez is going to be a starter. Well, Mr. Gant? Ponce no. de Leon, man. Oh, I mean, uh, what, what, let's just name him. Keep naming him. All and right, so. It's got to be one of that group or Flaherty. Flaherty's. Flaherty. Flaherty's. Flaherty Wainwright. Flaherty Wainwright. Michaelis. He's come back. And then uh, Kim. 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 There's KK. your four. And no, Martinez. It's good. I, Gant. I don't know. Martinez is not it's, going It's, it's not going to be uh, Gant. It's not going to be Gant. Gant is too valuable in their uh, uh, – He's a piggyback kind of guy. I think if Martinez falters, Reyes is going to take his spot. How How do you – how? It's well, it's simple. 30, the guy's pitched 30 and some they come odd innings. In the game. 30 That's some out. odd innings in four years, three years, four years. Not at all. He's – Reyes. They're going to piggyback the. They're going. They're going to do like a three inning, three inning, three. That's how it's going to be. You're talking like what the Colorado Rockies did a couple years Kinda, ago. But that's just, that's what they're going to do with Reyes when he yeah, if he I starts. I can see that. They're going to pitch him three. Oh my god! Play. Just let him pitch. I agree. That's a hey, you know it worked for Nolan Ryan. I was going to say. Did. And that SOB pitched how long? Uh, he long was time. We'll just let him pitch. We've 5, been waiting. hundred strikeouts. Nobody's We've been waiting and waiting and waiting for Reyes. Scott, like it feels like healthy. 10 years. Can't Scott Lotta says, what about Hudson? He's hurt. Yeah. You're talking about that he's, he's going to be well, back Supposedly. Or no, no, really. He's, he's coming back. He ain't good to what? Watch? Nah. <laughs> I think I make him charge admission, too. <laughs> he got my chicken. <laughs> yeah, $10. Michigan Social, $10. social distance. Go yeah. sit up there in the stands. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, speaking I, of guys making a comeback, it's not Cardinals related. Scott Casimir. You know who I'm talking about? Yes. He's a pitch for the Devil Rays. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the Dodgers. Mm-hmm. And Brett. He's making a comeback. Yes. Uh, yep. He's, he's got a minor league deal with the Giants. He's 39 years old, lefty. Okay. I mean, hey, Casimir pitched when I was so in high school. you're saying there's a chance. 38, 38 lefty. Say, you're saying there's a chance. No, you ain't got uh, a chance at all. Damn. Now, he'd be like, what's the movie for the guy? <laughs> the rookie. Yeah. 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 Say there's wait, a chance. Wait, wait. Right? Right. You you go find one of those. Uh, uh, so speed speed yeah, the See how fast those you go. All right. I'll bet you. How fast you? How fast is your fast time? How fast as you ever threw? Mid eighties. Really? Yeah. Oh, what? Well, you look surprised. <laughs> I, I, I didn't believe it either. I'm hey. going. Wait, I'll take listen, back. I've seen her golf listen, swing, man. Listen, uh, I know. I know. We've seen a lot, there's a lot of power years. behind his golf swing. There's a, I've seen all twenty years and about, I don't talk about eighty it. pounds ago. But come on now. Well, you ought to have a little bit more oath to it then. He said 80 pounds. <laughs> 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 American League tryouts. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh, it's just too wow. easy. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Getting deep in here. <laughs> hey, hey so could you, can you throw a curveball? Uh, that's what I threw. Oh. It was jump ball. Oh, Scott yeah. Lotta says, how about the Bucks? Talking about extending Brady. <laughs> Why not? Another time. Why would you not? If I'm Brady, I just want to go to everybody's team and win. <laughs> I'd be all awesome. the lottery, pick another team, to spin the wheel. And yeah, pretty much. Except for the Cowboys. Except for the Cowboys. <laughs> Sorry, Dan Boyer. Sorry. <laughs> Big Cowboy fan. Oh, DB. Uh, yeah, I mean that's Cowboys. Me. Uh, yeah, I, I would bring Brady on. I mean, starting quarterbacks in the NFL are not exactly like great like they used to be. No, there was a time where there was some really them studs. Uh, now there's just some duds. They're just not great. They're not good. Okay, it's my opinion, but I don't know anything. I don't know anything about football. Well, blitz all... every time. <laughs> Jailbreak blitz. Jailbreak X, blitz. X. Fall forward. <laughs> fall forward. Just uh, fall forward. Go. Just fall forward. Here we go. Hey. Uh, I guess it works. Got here. I've seen Miller's golf swing. I guess that means Chris can barely break the 
60 miles an hour. Oh, you're giving him say break wind. 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 You're giving him a lot of credit if you're saying 60 miles an hour. Jeez. Man, you guys can all kick rocks. I can get up, I can get up to That's 58 the old, miles the old an hour. Major League 3, you saw that one. Yeah. Well, the radar, you got to pitch over over 50. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I don't. I, I can't. I can't throw a ball hard anymore. It's it's gone. That's that, that's that old country song. I'm not as good as I once was. That's exactly right. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That it's, that's my uh, life. Yeah, that so, is my life. Me and you, only ones got anything. We still look good. You guys are playing it. We're, we're the only ones still alive around How's here at this table. What's How's going on with that? Sorry. Oh, yeah. must be nice to be class four, huh? <laughs> yeah. How's that working out for it's you? It's great. We love it. You should you should kick more kids out of your school. It worked. It worked for other schools down south. <laughs> only thirty-seven. We only needed thirty-seven kids. Uh, Is that what it was? Thirty-seven. You should have started kids. an alternative school off campus. <laughs> it happens in other places. Might be the case. Oh, I still have a regular season game too. We're playing Hillsboro tomorrow. That's it. I thought yeah, you guys had like uh, five regular season How games. How many? Hey, wait. Four you got up to like twenty-nine games already? <laughs> no, this will be our twenty-first. Man, we're must be nice. we were very fortunate to get all twenty-five we're in this year. We're six and fifteen, so I guess it'll be our twenty-second. On stuff. a two-game win streak, yeah. that's something I haven't been able to say in a while, so I have to say it. <laughs> we, we win, win one tomorrow. tomorrow. It's called that's a winning, winning streak. streak. Yeah, that's, that's happened, happened before. before. <laughs> and so Ain't it's not a streak right now. Oh, we and next that's major one league, dude. Okay, <laughs> yeah, he, got, right. he got one. He got one. Well, go. I know, but that's, I, someone said you're on a streak. I said, well, it ain't three yet. So, uh, <laughs> there you go. It's exactly but, right. And I actually it was a. Mr. Willis today as well. Did you get that off of Major League, huh? <laughs> oh, like, uh, that's yeah. why. That's, uh, I would say that it'd be great to to have three in a row here coming that's up. That's right. Yeah. Oh, I would. I'd love to get three and then I'd try love for four. to win three more in a row here. That'd be great. It's gonna be a tough one. We're going to Hillsborough. It's our senior night. We lost a lot of home games this year. Yes, Played you did. four home games. And then every game that we replaced, should have that we lost, ended his, up being an away game. Should have borrowed one of his thirty home games that he gets every year. Oh, well, I <laughs> yeah. didn't count. I did. I had three tournament games at home, right. but you take those away, we only played four home games. That's unfortunate. What do you, what do you have coming? We played eight. Well, we have nothing left. Okay. District starts for us Saturday. Uh, open up district play with a home game against Fredericktown. A uh, Fredericktown team that's, uh, you know, kind of have been bitten by the, the COVID bug this year and we haven't really been able to, to get in any rhythm, but I guarantee you we'll, we'll get their best game, um, you know, so we're going to have to be ready to go. And, uh, you know, we had a nice uh, win Monday night. Uh, we hosted uh, Donovan and uh, the number one. Hey, yeah. Donovan or Donovan? Donovan. Donovan. <laughs> Uh, they were the number seventh ranked team in class four, and uh, we were uh, able to come out with a victory uh, on Monday night. Played a really good basketball game. And, and I, I will say, I mean, I've been to several of Coach's games this year, and I thought it's the best game I've seen his girls play all year. Yeah. That's what you and, want. I mean, your point guard, <laughs> I, thought, I thought she played such a great game. And, I mean, all the girls that contributed and just they – I told my boys, I go, I wish you all would have been there yeah. to see the intensity that those two teams played at each other. I mean, it was it was a fun girls' basketball game. And I'm not going to lie to you, I don't always say it's fun to go watch a girls' basketball game. But uh, this one was fun. It was. It was fun to coach in. It was fun to watch. I mean, Oh, I, dude, he was – I should have we'll videoed. We'll Why see, um, did I not video? Did, wait, was that not, was that not live stream? It was, it was on the not, Black Cat TV. I'm sure it was on. Well, yeah, it was on Black Cat. Ray, oh. he's playing the seventh-ranked team in Class Four. That was a district game that night. It might, oh, have, been, okay. it might have been your game, I think. Well, right? I wasn't important <laughs> enough to watch. <laughs> we do what we can, man. We do. Hey, uh, listen, that all you did was see a bunch of my kids get abused. I tell you what, it was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, Coach. Coach Epps does a really good job down there. He's a good guy. A uh, really good guy, you know, and he does a really good job. And uh, you know, he had his kids ready to go, and, and they uh, got after us full court all night long. Put a lot of pressure well, on us. Well, and you guys came out with such a big lead. Uh, yeah, we and jumped then, out 18-6 no, to six after the first quarter. Wow. And uh, wow. and I felt like in the second quarter you played into their hands because you tried to play. They sped you up. Mm-hmm. 
And but your girls are cut. That's what I liked about the game the most was Doc, they took the lead at one point, didn't they? By one. Yeah, yeah and then you guys well, not I'm only gave up a lead, then you they took the lead, and then your girls fought back and got the win. Uh, I thought it was great. Yeah, you know, I, I, that was one thing that I talked about our kids was, you know, was we knew going into that game that, that the way down from plays is they just get up in your face, full court, man to man, puts a lot of pressure on you. And they want you to get up and down. Uh, they want you to focus on, you know, to turn the ball over. And, uh, you know, I thought our kids really handled that pressure very, very good. I mean, oh, I thought they did uh, too. I mean, every situation we put ourselves in, I thought we did a good job of just controlling it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we only had 13 turnovers on the night, and I, I thought that was a tremendous. That's, that's ball game uh, right there. You know, just yeah. against a team that plays full court man to man in your face. Uh, you know, I thought we did a really good job of that, and uh, hopefully that kind of momentum and uh, well, that that kind of game will show carries over into yeah. Saturday. <laughs> so I'm hoping confidence that. builder for him. Yes. Yeah. That was a good game for you guys to play right before districts, yeah. uh, and I'm kind of hoping that's what tomorrow will be for us. I mean. We, we went out to Cuba last night and beat them in a very low scoring game. That was low scoring. Uh, uh, like I, a pious I, game. I looked up the clock and it's 27 to 20 and we're in the fourth. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and you know what, Miller? I took a little bit out of your page. We got the lead. We're up about 14. We ran almost, it was close to anywhere from two to three minutes off the clock in the fourth quarter. Just spaced them out, just kept passing. And our kids were just playing catch with the ball. So you're being a coward? The Miller ball. <laughs> Miller ball. We were, up Miller four, ball. we were up 14. We didn't shoot the ball well at all. Uh, it was a close game. I mean, I didn't make fun of what you did. You were up. Wait, I mean, but I was, I was told I was a coward because we didn't we didn't play basketball. Well, well. they wouldn't come up and play us tight. Like, like, and and you like, had, we just stood there a couple and times. I'm like, and just, come up. We're just trying to win the game. You got to do what's best for your game. kids and your team. I mean, okay. you have a good night. You have a good night shooting. I mean, Find a way to win. It's we, all we, good. We Find shot a way to win, 15% buddy. from three, and we shot uh, 39% from the field. So I'm like, <laughs> hey, Definitely yeah, we're something. up 14. We're going to slow her down a little bit. I mean, yeah. it ended up 42 to 29, but we played really good defense. We just couldn't score. And we got uh, Potosi. We played the same day as the girls, but at least they did space it out. We're at noon. So, uh We'll take our shot at Potosi at noon. Uh, no restrictions. You pay, you can get in the game. So it'd be nice if a lot of Herky fans came. And then they can come watch the girls afterwards. That plenty of time to get to Potosi to watch us. Yep. And then come back and watch the girls play. And uh, it'd what be time nice. Play? Five o'clock. Five. Play at five o'clock. Uh, live stream will have that on Mission TV. Um, so that'll be, uh, I know if you're not able to make it, you know. You know, purchase that game uh, on Misha TV. Was that is that ten dollars, Ray? Is that what that is? Um, is that what Misha's charging? One million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, how about that? You know, you could go to a game for Actually, how much? One hundred billion dollars. <laughs> you could go to a game for five what? Bucks? Five, five bucks. Well, it, it it goes up incrementally. Yeah, but you yeah, can watch it on your big screen. Season, it's three bucks. But you can watch it streaming for ten dollars on your big screen. I mean, what else do you want? To not have to pay 10 bucks oh. to watch a damn high school basketball <laughs> game. Uh, what he said. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. I'm I can go to two going. games for the cost of that. You can, Saturday. You wow. go down to the boys, <laughs> toast in the no, car. No, I don't want to do that. Right, okay. Too much. Too much plus gas, I would say plus gas money, the way gas prices are right now, right? Wait, isn't this <laughs> part of the Green New Deal? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you notice how quick, the cows. You notice how quickly the prices went. <laughs> I think, I'm like, I, I blame listen, the cows. Right? I, I, January twentieth. Hey, <laughs> I saw I saw a side by side of the same gas station from early in November to today. <laughs> Eighty nine cents. And it was at least a dollar jump. So hey, yeah. all I'm saying is whatever is happening right now, it's working great. Thank you so <laughs> much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. I'm waiting for the, the views of the token box. Not necessarily the views of live stream SDR. Hey, you know what else? Herd immunity. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Drop that sign. Oh, 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 hey, all I'm saying is is you know, 
here. Super spreader here. Oh, We've had I was gonna say, wait, zero. Like, today is Wednesday, right? Yeah, I think it has less than 24 hours to go before the super spreader event's done. <laughs> super spreader. Zero uh-huh. cases. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There was a super say, spreader of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, it's because you know. I mean, do you read the, the papers? I mean, Post you know, it's in the, uh, I, I, I can't afford the post. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my parents uh, even. You know, my mom and dad are. You know, they always had the paper at the house. Like. I'm like, well, you might have to get internet, mom and dad. <laughs> hey, it costs a lot of money for that recycled paper. <laughs> yeah, what, two fifty now for a post? I don't know what it is. You gotta match the gas prices. <laughs> you know, you gotta go with green energy. Somebody's energy. Non-renewable stuff is bad. Yeah. Shut that pipeline down, baby. Stupid. I don't even care anymore. I'm so tired of it. <laughs> Well, Ray, I think that means so we need to go to a break oh, here. Hey, 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 what commercial? <laughs> wait, wait, what? What? Huh? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, hey, I can get off topic real quick. You can start singing that music. Oh, there it is. There's, there's, uh, there's a Blair movie. There's Eli Manning <laughs> walking in the club. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Ray, are you going to pay some commercials? We're going to pay some commercials. <laughs> We're going to do this extremely <laughs> the weird way. But, uh, oh. You're watching Coach's Box. We'll be right back. <laughs> Brian Waits at Waits Financial Services, your safe money guy for your retirement dollars. Planning on retiring or already retired? Give Brian a call at Waits Financial Services at 314-374-6713 or bwaits at woodburyfinancial.net. Waits Financial Services, bringing a team approach to help your business and family needs for over 28 years. Jefferson College has affordable degree options for students of all ages. Plus, the quality of education rivals any four-year university, and designated classes are guaranteed to transfer. Jefferson College provides safe on-site and online options and many exciting career pathways like humanities, business, social science, and public service, math, physics, and technology, and science and health. Students who know, go Jeffco. Enroll now at jeffco.edu. of showering well have we got a solution for you we interrupt this commercial with good news from your good neighbor state farm has new lower car insurance rates which means you can save more cash and get the service and convenience of a local state farm agent that's right state farm now has new lower auto rates with their same good neighbor service it's the real deal for car insurance folks and now this for lower auto rates in jefferson county and the surrounding area Call me, Sandy Vest, at 636-464-9298. Dr. Craig Rubel is an orthopedic surgeon and fellowship-trained sports medicine specialist who cares for all athletes of all ages, performing total joint replacements, knee and shoulder arthroscopies, and general orthopedic procedures such as fracture treatment and corporal tunnel releases. Visit rubelortho.com or call 636-933-7400. Hi, I'm Lawrence Krodinger with Home by SMCI. Whether it's residential or commercial, we have the right products for you. Global Plasma Solutions will attack your bacteria, mold, viruses, even help dust in your house. They install easily less than 45 minutes and it's invaluable for the rest of your life. If you're interested in any of the products that we do offer, give us a call at 636-337-4444 or send us an email at service at homebysmci.com. Fine Mexican cuisine. A family atmosphere. Any place to watch your local sport teams. Come out to La Pechangas. Check out our four locations. Arnold, Herculaneum, Crystal City, and Bonfair. Come out to La Pechanga. Hi, this is 
Coach Riley Blair from the Herculean Black Cats. Hi, this is Coach Jarvis from the Herculean Black Cats. Hi, this is Coach Zach McVeigh with the Jefferson Lady Blue Jays. Hi, I'm Chris Miller from St. Pius X High School. And you're watching the Coach's Box. And you are watching the Coach's Box. <laughs> 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 Oh, welcome back, huh? Oh, whoa, that was like really back? all of a sudden. Yeah. Boom! That was right there. Back to it. Okay. Oh, we're back? We are. We're back. back. You see the red light? We are back. We are back. So, what were we talking about? I picked South Gas yes, right. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Somebody else wanted to talk about Flaherty and Kelsey or whatever. Yeah. Well, that's a good one. Yeah, it is a good one. Who it's makes a- people more upset when they speak? Flaherty or Kelsey? <laughs> hmm. That's a really good question. I mean, I'm not upset. What's the viewer's answers on that? Anybody I else said Biden. I'm not, I'm not I aggravated. Know. I said Biden, but I, well. <laughs> Trump probably makes people mad too when he I speaks. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, a problem. Hey, you can't blame Flaherty. He he's trying to get his money. Yeah. You can't blame the Cardinals. Yeah. They're trying to keep. Flaherty money. didn't. Flaherty said he doesn't blame the organization no. for what they did. He, That's part of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, a process that they all go through. The CBA probably needs to be changed. Six years of player control is probably too much for these guys. They really need to be. I think five is about it. See, I don't. I if I'm in the CBA or if I'm a player. I'm gonna try and go for four, if not uh, three. No, yeah, owners won't do that. Well, They'll lock them out. Okay, yeah. great. And then you're not making any money if you're an owner because no one's playing. Go hire a bunch of, you know, people from know. other overseas. Nobody's gonna go. Well, nobody's gonna go watch that. Why people watched the KBO whenever it came back yeah, and there were no it sports. Was COVID. All right. Well, you got. Uh, I don't. I, I would. I saying. would uh, disagree on all their. Uh, how many people in the U.S. were watching? Sure wasn't. Everyone. Everyone was. Everyone. I, 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 I watched. That. Watch what? KBO. KBO. Exactly. Korean baseball. I did not watch <laughs> any of that crap. Exactly. Why? Exactly. Why? Why don't? Who? Do, who are those Korean guys? I don't <laughs> know, but there wasn't any other damn sports to watch. <sighs> so I would have rather you know watch what? nothing than them Korean. You know what guys. there was to watch? The coach's box because exactly. when we had COVID we shutdowns, have been going strong. Strong. we've been going yes. strong. We found imaginary sports to talk about. <laughs> Hey, we've we've covered some subjects here. <laughs> wow! Wait, Hopefully we cover yeah. all subjects. So, nothing is off limits, and nothing's out of bounds uh-oh. unless I say it is. Because <laughs> I tell the official that is out of bounds, and you didn't call it. So my coworker from Pepsi <laughs> asked, wants to know what has he done? I'm Who's guessing he? he's talking about Flaherty. Maybe? Flaherty. So what has Flaherty done? I thought maybe he's talking about Biden. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, don't ask him that question either. <laughs> That political, uh, uh, even though uh, gas prices. Well, we're, we're uh, the coaches' box, you know, not this political blow. I, I mean, I don't political know. Blow? <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not want to say what I wanted to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, it's a family I think show. It was, oh, it's gonna be some. Oh. I know why Kyle Board's watching the KBL. They had cheerleaders on top of the dugouts. They're COVID, <laughs> and he wouldn't remember that. Oh, oh, why Lisa. are you up so late watching TV, Lisa, Kyle? No what reason. Are you doing? No reason. <laughs> Put it out there for Bam. him. Uh, and a boy. He is just... twenty-three and twenty-two for the Cardinals. Twenty-three. Oh, that's his record. Right career. Uh, I'm talking about uh, clarity. Okay, but his ceiling is. Yeah, yeah he's, 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 he's gonna he's gonna be a premier pitcher for the next several, you several hope. years. He, I, well, I mean, we do hope. You hope. Yeah. I hope as, as long as, as we have. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Okay, so that's, gonna be, so that's gonna be. That's gonna be. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 how, many, how many more years? Three. Are he's, three. Okay, for three years. I don't even know that he'll be there for three. Yeah, because he's he's player controlling. But I, I mean, I, after I, that, he's what? You gonna trade him at the deadline or something? When uh, maybe. expiring contract? Maybe. Well, it depends on if he's got a. Four point whatever he Yeah, but that or, was nine. That well, was nine I sure hope we're, during COVID. I sure hope we're winning. That we're well, not going to want to trade. Here, it's him. not going to be I'm that. Tell you we're why not going to want to pay him. him. We've got a. We've got more pitching right now. Do as we? far as in our in hand, 
I said, I think it will, we what? might they trade him. They were talking him. about maybe looking to pick up another starting uh, pitcher. I think we got a lot of pitching. Well, right because now. once again, they don't want to bring players up and start their clock. Mm-hmm. They want to keep. They want to keep. I the understand minor that, but I mind. mean, they themselves, even on one on one. They were talking about it today that they may still sign Jake or uh, whatever. Oh, Rizzy? Yeah, yeah Rizzy. I would. Just because. Arms are the premium. There, how long have we been saying we the Cardinals got all these arms? What have we done with them? Nothing. Well, they, keep, well, getting I mean, hurt. Hell, you, they you, keep getting hurt. Think there's about a reason why they Well, you got some yes, playoffs they, last two years. Playoffs. With those arms. You got playoffs? playoffs? Yeah, Jim. Playoffs. <laughs> playoffs. Hey, you could be the Pirates and you're thinking about first pick. Yeah. Can hey. we win 60 this year? D- no. <laughs> I'm just Six saying. Be pushing. Uh, yeah, yeah, saying. That. yeah that's, that's pretty wow. rough. Yeah. But we we have we have guys who can pitch. Mm-hmm. It's just well, trade them for some outfits. They don't want to, and they were talking about that. They're t- they don't want to take the uh, the bubble wrap off and let them go for an extended period of time. Like they were talking about clarity. How many innings is he going to get? Is he going to get 160, 180? Are they even going to try and push for 200? And I think they said no because of the COVID season last year because he only pitched nine games. Right. And he only had so many. Same okay. thing with Gray. I agree. Okay. I agree. Do you guys, guys remember when the Yankees had – uh, Java Chamberlain. Yeah. The yeah. big guy, yeah. you know, yeah. and they were all about the Java rules. We're only going to pitch him so many days. And after that first year, he sucked. Oh, yeah. Because they limited him mm-hmm. so much. Mm-hmm. Listen. Same thing with Strasburg. Roll the ball out and let him throw it's the bitch. It's just like in yeah. basketball when you say shoot or shoot. Right. This is the same game. Score, thing. score. I agree. Shoot or shoot. Right. Pitcher's pitch. I agree. Right. Throw could it. Could you imagine? Throw it. Throw it. You brought up Nolan Ryan a while. Could you imagine? Yeah, was he okay? Nolan Ryan. Could you imagine Roger Clemens say, no, no, no. no hey, hey. Right, right, right. I'm going to come We're get you right. after the fourth. Could you yeah. imagine if Cole. they would have been the guy pitching for the Rays and that Coach would have came. They may have beamed him uh, in the head. Uh, with no, 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 no. <laughs> no one would have put his head in his head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, I, and I don't blame. Uh, what's what was Scott, it? Um, I was going to talk right. about Tampa. I don't know. Yeah, I, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's Snell. 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 Blake yeah. Snell. Mike I would have told Mike. I, I mean, that's one instance where I would have been <coughs> behind the player if he would have oh, told the coach. I, 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 Oh. Well, here's the thing, though. The thing that got that manager in hot water is the fact that they asked him, if you had it to do over again, would you? And he, would. And he said, yeah. yeah, I'd do the exact same thing. But Kevin Cash is now an idiot. Well, yeah. You know, I mean, wait, wait, wait. It, I agree with that. You, you saw what happened. Right. One. And, 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 you said, and the effect of what happened. He and, gone. And, and you yeah. said you would do it again only means that you wouldn't learn from that mistake mm-hmm. and therefore makes you an idiot. Mm-hmm. If I make a bad move coaching, and I've made plenty, I'm going to, if I had the chance to go back in time and do it again, mm-hmm. I wouldn't make that mistake because I know the outcome. Right. You know what's going to happen when you take the ball away from the guy who's dealing, mm-hmm. and you still do it? You're an idiot. Yeah. It's not a secret. I, I wonder, though, if all of this still is a cloak and dagger with management and owners to say, if we limit your innings as an ace, then we don't have to pony up a thirty, thirty-five, forty million dollar. No, because they're still they're still doing it with guys like Bauer. Bauer only pitches like what six, six and a third, six, two thirds. He's still only they're, they're only going to pitch him how many pitches, right. and they're only going to do so many innings. But and they paid him forty million dollars. Right. Forty million dollars. Right. And so, I would say there crazy. there is a difference crazy. between innings yeah. and pitch count. I will I will totally support a pitch count. Okay, I'm not all about innings. I'm not even support a pitch count. I am. I you know you throw get up, the ball. Yeah, but you you get up no one, 15, 120. No one runs. Plus. No one right. I, I get that. Bob Gibson. 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 I get that. Hey. I totally get that. I mean, totally different day and age. John, John Tudor. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? His pitchers pitch. Uh, yeah. you, throwers throw pitchers well, pitch. Well, back then, uh, I will say. We're, I think we see a lot more Tommy John because of Joe Blow over here at the Twin City with their paid team that's traveling all over the place. Go curveball. Yeah. And the guys. 12 year old going to curve. Hey, hey, I will tell you this, right? And now. then after they get done pitching, they'll yeah. go to catcher yes. and start throwing it back to the pitcher. Yes. I mean, you know. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, and we had, we had a guy, we had a guy in college came in, already had it. I said, 
what happened? You were a charm in high school? He said, no, I, I was going to need it eventually, so I might as well just get it now and, and get it over and done with. I mean, at, no, you yeah, don't. I, you don't. Yeah, you don't um, do that to that, and that's why I, I, coaching at a younger levels is so important. We see it with basketball. You see it with football. Great. You see it in baseball. You are ruining kids. It's like let's go play seven hundred games this summer, and you're gonna pitch half of them, and then we're gonna worry about your pitch count. And you're gonna catch. <laughs> no, you're catch you're not top pitch. Top. Or you're going to go to outfield and try and throw a runner out from third center. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. You're, doing, you're doing long toss. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. These people are nuts. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. These pe- it, that's that's the problem. That mm-hmm. is the number one problem. You want to know why we got guys only pitching three innings uh-huh. and they're throwing 70 pitches in three innings? Because they don't know how to pitch. Mm-hmm. They're trying to throw too much junk mm-hmm. instead of just saying, I'm going to throw it right here. Mm-hmm. I've got your scouting report. I know your hot zones. We got we got the shift on over here. If I put it right here, you're gonna hit it to that guy, and he's gonna throw you out. The shortstop who's sitting in right field is gonna throw throw you out at first. I agree. And that's it. Instead, we're at, I'm gonna throw him 700 curveballs. I've been doing it since I was nine. I, well, it, playing for true. seven select you, teams. I, I can remember when I, was, I, when I was in Little League, our yeah. kid, our coaches wouldn't let us throw them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had to throw that's straight. It. We were that's throwing it. straight fastballs. Mm-hmm. Well, and we all have we all have kids that are in that, that you know that age range. I mean, you know, mine's thirteen and seventh grade, and, and I'm leery. I don't want him. I don't want him throwing. Awesome. No, I was lu- I was lucky. Mine didn't pitch hardly. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, hey, fastball changeup. That's all you need. Oh, that's fastball all you need. Change up. All that's you need. all you need. Yeah, and it, you know, you worked know, for Walker for a while. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been I've been fortunate the last few months here to you know help my son's uh, select team out. You know, uh, practices on Saturday, and I tell you, thank you. Uh, I think the biggest thing you know that you see uh, is there's so many kids at 12 years old throwing that. Ball, curveball, like every every other pitch. I know, I see it too. And I'm like, what in the world, you know? And I'm just thinking, but if that goes, why is that even crossing that coach's mind? Because, because it goes back to worrying about trying to win Mm -hmm. versus development. And we can say this too. I think it has something to do with the adults. Trying to relive their glory days no. through their through yeah. their kids. Yeah. I coach my son's T-ball team, so I know a lot about sports. <laughs> How many times have you heard that crap? Uh, uh, hmm. Lots. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I know. I, I coached coach my son's around here. team when he was in YMCA basketball. I was gonna say, have you been to a, have you been to a high school basketball game recently? Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. But that's that's the I kind of thing that I, that I that I that I put towards it is I think that we're, we're starting, you know, everybody says that successful programs, with, no matter what sport you do, is developing kids fundamentally at a young age. Those aren't important. And I think shoot the, the, three. the shoot teams the three. that are successful, shoot. the teams that are successful at a young age typically aren't successful as they get older. Yep. You know why? Well, I, I don't think that they focus on, and I, I talk about this with my program all the time, the little things. The little things are, you know, how to throw a fastball. Uh, that's you know, boring. To, be, to, to, you know, how to make a routine play. We want to get fancy. We want to, you know, we want to do a pickoff. want to behind the bag? Yeah. Wanna, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the, but I'm that's just saying, boring, Coach. But, that's, but, not, that's not fun. But that's right. But that's the way it yeah. is. And I think yeah. that's, that's the sad part about youth sports now is there's so many opportunities that we are setting kids up to fail. You should, yeah, you 100% should, setting kids up to fail. You should have saw my kids today when we did the mic and drill. There was about half of them like, yeah. oh. I'm yes. like, well, you guys missed I don't know how many shots last night. We yeah. may need to work yeah. on shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Go go yeah. listen to Steph Curry when he was MVP, unanimous MVP. Go listen to Kobe Bryant. Go listen to any anybody that's anybody in any pro sport, and they will all say the same thing. Do the fundamental boring things, boring, over and over and over and over, over again. That's why they are great. That's why they are Hall yeah. of Famers, yeah. because they're not afraid to do the boring things and do it well and implement that in a game. So, so, so if, if you can't make a layup, 
which is two feet from the basket. Mm -hmm. One to two feet from the basket. Right. Why in the absolute hell am I going to let you shoot 20 feet from the basket? Well, you're not. Because you law percentages, you shoot worse as you go out. And you're already bad here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you can't hit this shot, and this is one of those things about the mic and drill that I love when kids are like, oh, well, they're good. Don't, you don't get to shoot. This ain't, this ain't CYC, your dad's coaching, <laughs> upwards, whatever team you just yeah. played for. Yeah. If you can't do this stuff, I don't let you shoot. When you shoot and you hear the, it's you coming out of the game. Yeah. It, sorry. Yeah. You, oh, well, that's, that's not fair. Good. Go home and practice this crap that this other kid does. And that's the reason why you're not getting well, the I I love Every year I will always tell the kids, 500 to 1,000 shots a day. I want someone to take me up on it. Take me up on it because you're going to play all the time because you're going to be making shots. Mm -hmm. If you do 500 shots that are right. game-wide shots, not like I'm just jacking mm -hmm. them up, okay? Mm -hmm. And, you know, those kids look at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, guys, you're, I'm Yeah, you. you're not shooting the shot in the game where you roll the ball mm -hmm. to yourself and you're like, mm -hmm. shoot it. Mm -hmm. You know, Nobody gets that shot. No. Not, not even the kid that you put in at the end of the game and you're hoping he scores because he ain't got a chance to shoot all year. No, because we'll tell him not to let him score. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. That guy right yeah. there. Yeah. He better not, not only score. That, not only that, you better block his shot, too. <laughs> Man, that <laughs> kid didn't even get a chance. But, yeah. you know, here's the thing that sure. I talk about. I, uh, you know, <laughs> I've been doing this, you know, this, this – uh, younger level teams in the past and you know we went up to the city and played in the in a in a league up there where we're playing teams like Webster and um, you know the Francis Howells and you know let's just say all the Parkway districts and stuff like that that where those kids are are natural athletes at that young of an age right. and we're getting beat you know I, I can remember this junior class that I have right now was getting beat against Webster you know 62 to 2 and they were not doing nothing but playing half court man against us, and they weren't shooting layups. They were just getting. You know I, I've been to a few of your. I mean, my daughter's yeah. played with and you, your girls, and I've seen it. I've said to all along that my kids had to learn how to develop as a player. Right. That that's it changed over into right. when they become high schoolers. Now they know how to handle how to be a player instead of how to just beat people. Mm -hmm. And I think that you see these teams that are successful at a young age typically are not very successful as they get older. because That's not well, always true, but, but yeah. But it's right. successful. I mean, I'm not saying always, but I'm saying is you see a lot of it is because these kids never develop their game. Well, they are always consistent they're with what well, they're doing. Exactly. They grow, on, especially on the guy's side. Yes. They go through hip puberty. You're 5'5 five, five in sixth grade, and now you're 6'2. And, and the guys who are 5'11, 6' are still 5'11, 6'. Right, right. Oh, yeah. You had that post player that played in seventh and eighth grade. I know a couple we, I've oh, yeah. seen oh, yeah. go through Erky and other places uh, that yeah. I've coached at. Their post player. And uh, they come to high school, and they're like, "Oh crap!" There's mm -hmm. people six, seven, I'm six, just, five. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guard, mm -hmm. and I was lucky that I got a good. I do. I have. A, I have one of the best, I believe, junior high coaches in the county, and Sean Goodwin. And I was lucky. Oh, nice. My son was one of the tallest kids on the team, and he played my son at a guard, which totally helped Dylan now. Because mm -hmm. I mean, I knew that he knew. I knew that's what he's going to play in high school. Well, and it just goes back to priorities and, and what's important. And what, as a, as a parent, as a parent, what do you focus on and what's important to you? I don't, you know, for, for me and my family and my son, it's all about development. I, I told him this year in seventh grade, I said, last time I checked, there's no state championship for seventh grade. You know, uh, there is an Illinois in there. Uh, maybe Tennessee. You know, that's for Penny. Penny. Coach when, when do you get to play? Yeah. When, when do you get, get to play? play? But that's not sure. what's important. It's about developing. Lazar said no. You know, and then by the time that you get into high school, hopefully that you put more time and effort and energy in than the other kids, and maybe you turn into a role player or, or whatever. But, but the, the point role is role player. There's another thing I can talk a whole show yeah. about. But go ahead. But you got to put the time and effort in. You yeah. have to. And I don't think that, I think the generation and mindset has changed that it's all about winning. And it's not about now. 
you know, right and, now. and I got to learn how, like, I've been, for instance, when I was growing up, and we were all growing up, the concept was I was playing the game to compete. Mm-hmm. I wasn't the playing the game to win. Mm-hmm. And when I competed, I typically right. was in the ball game, and I, had, I gave myself a chance. You, you, Where now, right. I think it's all about, let me win, 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 win. And we never learn how to lose, so we never learn how to grow. We never learn how to get better because we don't know how to handle when things don't go my way. Well, and I think it's a struggle with kids. You see it, and I, I, I know you guys see it because I'm not in the classroom every day, but when, when you tell a kid, hey, you didn't study for this test, and now you got a, a 60% on that test, and you thought, well, I, I should have been given an A. Yes, I extra mean, credit. I, I should have been. So, uh, what can well, I do to get time, that grade up? How much time did you go back put in, in time and the DeLorean and yeah? Because so, yeah. It, it it goes back to, but I think for us as kids, the com- the competition and going out and saying we're going to go play a pickup game and we're going to go beat you and we're going to compete. Oh. That's what was fun. I got a great then, story about that. You know what I mean? Because then it was, I'm going to trash talk mm-hmm. all day and, in class. And you kept it, score, right? Yes. Because when I first got to Herky, okay, uh, I'd come to open gym and let the kids play. And so I asked him, like halfway through, the, one of the first open gyms I was ever at. So what's the score? They go, I don't know. Play. And all of them said, I don't know. I go, what do you mean you don't know? And they're like, well, we hardly ever keep score. I go, you play to win. I know. That's why. I mean, I wanted to, I'm like, you what? I go, no. We have to change. That was one of the first things I said. We are going to keep school. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're not going to play a game five on five here. I like these see, calling fouls see, too. Everybody's a winner. Well, but see, that's the other thing. And, and, and we've done, you know, football, basketball, baseball. When you give, and I've noticed this over the years, you give them a, a, a goal or you give them a challenge and say, I don't know, let's, let's talk about 11-man drill or three-on-two drill. People call 11-man. Hey, you get so many positives versus so many negatives. A layup, miss layup, turnover steals, all that. And then at the end of your time, you better have more positives than you better have negatives. Right. For your How many, or Okay. Punishment. Yeah. No, consequence. Encouragement. In, but but how I, I, that's what that over the years, I've seen it's it. Be, you know, I've seen it to where it's like they they pout. Oh uh, yes. You, wait a second, what? You mean we can't just play this for fun? Yes. Competing is what's fun. Is that that right? is what is fun. But, and I I'm, and I think that well, for me learned. what I've seen is what has gone out the window is about competing. Mm-hmm. Do your Best. I agree. Right. I mean, some of them are happy just to be on the team, just right. to have a sure. uniform. Yeah. And if they get to start, and you know, whether we win or lose, a lot of times, some I, sometimes I feel like me and my coaches are the ones wanting to win more than anyone in the yeah. room. Yeah. And, and, and it's that's, gotten better. I think that's natural. And, and it's gotten be better natural, well, since I, I started. It, I think when we go back to the fundamentals issue mm. and why that's not cool and that's not fun, because we were in a society that wants things now right, happen overnight I, mean, I go I want, I, I want my McDonald's now yeah. why am I waiting two I minutes for that for those fries it. to cook look, look, I, want to put, I want to put some crap in the microwave and, and do it for 30 seconds and it's hot and I can eat it now 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 instead of putting all the time and effort that goes into the game of basketball or the game of baseball or any other sport Football, we want to talk it about matter whatever. That, that time that you have to spend doing it so I tell kids if you're not good if, if you're not gonna play hard you're wasting your time coming to practice. Go do something else. You go get a job mm-hmm. because you're not. Get, if you take plays off, if you're not listening, if you're not focused, mm-hmm. you're you're doing yourself and everyone here a disservice. Go do something else that's worth your time mm-hmm. because you're putting this time in. You need to do something with it. So if you want to be good, you got to put more time in. You can't just wake up, scratch and stretch and go, oh, my God, I'm really good at basketball. And I can do all this stuff. It, I wish that crap worked, but, but it doesn't. But you're mean. Yeah, I you're know. A mean, you're a mean I know. Person. I get that a lot. But you're it, a mean it, it, you know what? You and, and, I'm, and I'm going to challenge them. And I'm going to tell them this is how it needs to be. Mm-hmm. And, and you know what? If they don't like it, go do something else. Yeah. And, and, I, and I'm very open about that. Mm-hmm. I, and I love all those kids. And I tell them all the time, like, look, I, if you don't play, it's not that I'm not going to like it, mm-hmm. but I have an expectation, and this is what we need to do. And if you don't like it, then do something else. Go, if you don't like contact, go play non-contact sport. If you don't like playing as a team, go play an individual sport. If you don't like playing sports, chess club needs people. Mm-hmm. Go do drama. I don't care. 
But the, if you're going to do it to the it, best of your ability, your best of the ability, practice the fundamentals. Yeah. It's not going to happen overnight. If you suck and you don't like where you're playing or go away, coach you play Work that harder. much, then fix it. Ask me. Look don't this. have mom and dad come and say it. Advocate for yourself, coach. What can I do to play more? Man, I'm going to tell you. I'm honest with them all the time. It drives me nuts. But unless they can sit behind this and ask yeah, me, they ain't going to do it. Sorry, I went on about seven yeah. different things. Right but here. here's my well, thing. There's so many. Here's what I'll tell you. So many you. Layers. About that. Yeah. If I ask a student a question about anything at all, what's the first thing they want to go and look at? Look it up. They want to look it up on this thing. They want to find out. Well, they don't even know. Magic box. Because... They don't read, they don't follow up, or they don't engage themselves in certain things to figure out why. Critical they just want to, oh, well, Google will tell me who had the most stolen bases in career history in MLB. 1942. But, but, you know, I mean, that's what I'm saying is that there's no sensibility of just respecting that you want to know that. It's, oh, somebody asked me, so I'll go to research and find out myself. Well, it's just like I mean, 12 times 12 is 144, right? I can do all that stuff in, my in a second in my I'm head. And Kizzle, times tables. Kizzle <laughs> asks, yeah, because the times. You remember that? Uh, so, oh, yeah, because when I got in trouble in school, you know what they made us do? Uh, yeah. In write sentences, you wrote your multiplication <laughs> table. It's like, oh, oh for the love of we God. We had to write the, uh, the, all the elements, too. That was another Elements, thing. Yeah. the, oh, the preamble, yes. the Constitution. So he, was in, he was in trouble. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was, was, I, I was, I was an English check mark. Uh, English <laughs> check mark. <laughs> but uh, ran out of room, had to yeah, go on I the side, chalk, chalkboard. Chalkboards. <laughs> oh, we want to, I mean, just... And he is so right. They just grabbed this thing. I hate this thing. Uh-huh. I mean, I love it, but I hate it. I, I, I wish, I wish that they would make a law that says you, all the schools need to put cell blockers. Like, you know, if Segma has a, a, yeah. a blocker on their on their school where the phones don't work. I wish that was across the board on every school, and you could not use your phone. You couldn't get signal. I have an announcement. No scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moving on. But you know. It, it is. I don't want it, no scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> We're live. You know that, right? I'm going well okay. right. <laughs> You know that song. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about the retort. <laughs> hey, gone. Oh, hey, yeah. she, she gone. Yeah. Hey, gone. Yeah. She know better. But, yeah, it'd be cool, but, you know, it'd be somebody saying, oh, my kid can't get a hold of me. Then call the office. Line. Then call the office. You don't need, you don't need, it, how many times has that ever happened to you? <laughs> my mom just texts me, you're uh-huh. in freaking class. Uh-huh. But, you no, know, no, no, no. Hold on. Come walking in. And, and I, hey, get off the phone. But you don't understand. It's my parent. I, then let me talk to him. Yeah. So, and here's the thing that I was, and my mom and dad always tell me go. this. Uh, my mom and dad always tell me this. You know, when I, when I go home, when I was younger, and I go home and I got in trouble for something, what did you do? <laughs> it was never what did the teacher do to you. Yeah, no. it's, oh my gosh, do? never. So, and I and I find myself sometimes getting in that situation with my own kids. They'll come home and they'll be like, "Oh, I got yelled at today by the teacher, or well, I got so coach told me to do something because I wasn't working doing this or whatever." And I catch myself sometimes saying, "Why did they do that to you?" Instead of what did you do to cause them to tell you? I don't. You. I don't have that issue. And <laughs> I say I don't. But, here, but here's the thing. I, I and say that it's the nature of society? This society right now that that's where our mind goes right away. Why am I getting in trouble? If you think Why for one second, if what you, did think, you do? if you think for one second, and any of these parents, anybody who has kids who watch our show or know some. If you think for one second that, number one, that you are your kid's best friend, number two, that your kids don't lie, you are sadly and utterly snowed. I won't call this person out, but we got a person that I work with who always says, guys, kids lie. <laughs> they, no, really? The, the best kids will lie to save their sorry, sorry. ass oh, anytime yeah, they, they can. Yeah, they will. And I guarantee you this. I was, I, and you all know my dad, I was scared to death of doing anything, and, and I got in trouble enough mm-hmm. when I was in school. I like to talk, believe it or not. And he, anytime I got in trouble, I was scared to death, and it was, what'd you do? Mm-hmm. Not what it's you your did. fault. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Here's your punishment. And a lot of times, I got my ass broke. It's just what it is. You got to go up there and apologize. And there was that, too. And if you don't, when you get home, 
It and may be I ten times worse. No, my know. dad, my dad would walk around open house. It would meet my, and I hated it for mm-hmm. years. He did it until I was in high school finally. Oh, and he would say, say he'd walk up, he'd say, "My name is Chris Miller. It's my son, Christopher. And just so you know, uh, if you have any issues, you let me know. Whatever punishment he gets here, he's getting his ass when he gets home. I'm like, I." Walk around and every stinking teacher. It's so great that you said that. My dad was the same way. He'd be like, Oh, I'm Dave Jarvis. I'm one phone call away. Yep. And if you think what you're going to do to him is bad, when he gets home, it's going to be worse. I, I was supposed to get so SWATs one time. <laughs> okay? Because you'd SWATs or ISS. Mm-hmm. I took SWATs. Principal called my dad. My dad drove up there. He got to SWAT me. <laughs> now, was he doing the, was he doing the tan? Uh, was absolutely not. To? Matter of fact, my dad wasn't used to using a paddle like that, so he hit me in the back, and it hurt a heck of a lot more than getting Ow. hit. Uh, oh yeah, out. And I'm like, Mr. Chris, oh, my God, what the heck? You know, I was like trying to like be real tough about like, oh my God, I don't think I can. <laughs> but do you think? And That's the kind of guy I got to do. So when my daughter tells me, like, that, you know, well, my teacher yelled at me, I'm like, stop being a turd. Mm-hmm. It's your fault. Uh, no, no. <laughs> and if it happens again, mm-hmm. if I get another no, you're going to get it. But do, here, here's the thing. Do you think which of the three things have changed? Has parenting changed? <laughs> yeah. Has the kids changed? Parenting's changed. Or has society changed? Yes. Parenting and society. Parenting kids are always the same. I agree, hundred percent, and I, I don't think that the kids have ever changed. I think it's the way that the kids have been brought up that's changed. I think the Kevin way. Kevin said he still lies his mom. I'm 41 and I still lie to my mom. That's good stuff. <laughs> Sometimes, it's, it, 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 yeah. <laughs> man, you don't be lying to your mama. Oh, man. Good thing she don't watch the show. Not going there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Donna Blair will be on there real quick, won't she? Oh my gosh, will she? Riley, you better not be lying to me. Right above his comment, Donna Blair is watching. (laughs) Trust me, I know. (laughs) See, yeah, my parents don't have internet, but yeah. (laughs) I'm with you, Kevin. (laughs) So that's so my my question, I guess. That's the next time we get a chance to interview him. There's definitely going to be some questions about his mom. And <laughs> I like Tim Winkler says, when I was a kid, I got in trouble at school. I prayed the phone wouldn't ring that night. Uh-huh. Yep. Now when a kid gets in trouble with me, I pray the phone won't ring that night. <laughs> I can't get away from it. Either. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Coach Winkler, that is 100% uh-huh. the truth. 100%. Buddy. If uh-huh. I see it's a pair, it's like, uh, uh-huh. what's uh-huh. this going to be like? Uh-huh. <laughs> Now I've been I've been very fortunate in the last couple of years I have gotten two three years I've gotten a lot of good parents and I set the tone with kids I said this is how it's going to tell their parents I try to have as much I feel like if you would, instead of contacting parents when the kids have done all kinds of bad things like hey, you ask teachers to be to to communicate positive stuff too yeah I yes. try to I try to do that because again society has changed parenting has changed yes so. I try to be the smartest guy in the room, especially when I was in the classroom, and say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be proactive about this. It's pretty hard to do in here, though. Oh, uh, yeah. It's real hard. Yeah. That, guy, that guy over there is probably smarter. So here's the thing. You, 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 try, to, you try to do that, and even it, you want to have as much communication. It's like, listen, hey, your kid's been doing great. They got in a little trouble here. It, you know, it's got to tell them to stop talking. But other than that, Everything else is good. They, they turn in their work on time. Just wanted to let you know you're doing a fantastic job as a parent. Boom. All of a sudden, that conversation the next time is going to be totally different. Oh, yes, it is. And it's Absolutely. not because you're trying to blow smoke. You, you really try to put that out there. And I always try to pick a couple of parents and reach out. Because a lot of times I, I make phone calls. And it's like, uh, well, you know, uh, what are you calling about? You know, what did my kid do now? It's like, no, they, they're, they're good. Right. Oh. <laughs> Okay. First of all, they're okay. <laughs> they're okay. They're doing great. I just wanted to let you know that they score well on this test. They're like, you've got the right number, don't you? Like, yeah, this is your kid. Yeah, I think that goes a long way. But, I mean, it is it is one of those things that 
it, I don't, I, like Coach Winkler says, I kind of like, ugh. Oh, says, oh, what I can say. Oh, I know. Trust me. <laughs> we I, I, I don't want to post a picture of my my mother uh, the other night. On Monday, they, you know, mom and dad drove two and a half hours to come watch the game on Monday. And uh, my dad says, hey, go out, go into the office and get a basketball. I want to see how your mom shoots. Sure enough, I said, I'm going to get my phone out and make sure I take video of this. Well, I took a picture of mom shooting and you know once I showed her uh, how perfect her form was she turned around looked at me and said thank god you didn't get your shooting from me <laughs> thanks thanks mom see uh, so that's the kind of confidence that you know my dad has in my mom about <laughs> her shooting like I didn't you didn't get it from me because uh, your shot's terrible you know but uh, but it was just like little things like that that you know you know you don't see or hear kids talking about little stuff like that amongst uh, you know their parents. I mean, honestly, you, you you don't hear about those conversations as much anymore. And I think that's, that has a lot to do with it because, because there's no communication. We're talking about this. There's Uh-oh. no communication. Uh-oh. So as a parent, your son plays, comes home, maybe you had to work, couldn't make the game, which is terrible as a parent. I've been there. I've oh, had to coach a game and miss my daughters or, mm-hmm. or vice versa or whatever. It's hard. They come home and say they lost 107 to 14. What what do you what do you say to your what do you say to your kid? <sighs> you say get hey, <laughs> it's quiet. I'm sorry. The ball, so hey, I, I'm the one to, I'm the one to talk about this all night, so I'm gonna bring it up. You say and ho- I, hopefully you get them off the schedule. <laughs> okay, it's a district game. What you comes you around can't. goes around. <laughs> How you say what comes out? Well, I think, uh, I think the actually, biggest as question a parent, is, as a parent, I would say this as a parent because. We talked about over the summer about that select ball game. Oh, was 40 gosh, to one. Yeah. And, and we actually, we had a conversation. We said, listen, that's not class. That's not character. Yes. We're going to be better than that. And this is how, this is why. So that, yes, I know you want to talk about it. But, yeah, to get at least, I mean, I at least now give it. I'm just trying to get this subject know, started I here. I, just, I know. I, want, I mean, I've read a bunch of different opinions about it. So I'm just kind of. Well, you know is. my opinion. I'm the yeah. fall forward guy. Well, so. and I he, here's where I think yes, that you are. the biggest thing comes down to is is at what point does sportsmanship come into play? You're supposed and to teach characters, coaches. How how is that enforced? Not only from the coaches, but from the school, from the parents, from the community. I mean, you, you start putting it all in there. Um, you know, there's a lot of times that you're put into position as a coach, as a teacher, that you could really do some bad things to kids or to parents or to other kids or to other school districts, that you could do that. But you find yourself setting back and saying, I've had that done to me. And you always look back at that and you say, I've always seen that happen to someone else, and I saw how that made them feel. Uh, to the concept go, of, I don't want to have put put any kid in that predicament at uh, this at this point, and especially now in today's society. I mean, as bad as it is right now, I mean, more and more and more and more and more, and I hate to say this, more and more kids in today's society are struggling with that because... They feel they like know how to handle those types no. of situations. No, and uh, yeah. and I, I honestly believe that we're not we're not teaching kids anything. I would about want to know what lesson. Them. If you're the one that scored 100 some odd, please explain to me what lesson you were teaching them. That's your what kids, I want to know. But That's not, what not what only saying. your kids. No, no, I want to know the 107, the, other... the team that scored 107. Please explain to me what well, lesson. But here, to answer your question, your comment, I would say this: just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Should. Just because you can doesn't mean I knew I knew they would be fired up on I, this one. So. I, yeah, I don't. But I that's what I would say. What? Well, okay. If if you're the kid in 107, <laughs> if you're a kid in the hundred, just, that scored 107. Well, Miller, he goes, yeah, I know. Of course he's not. Uh, of course he's, he's neutral. Not. He's neutral. No, but he's it, not neutral. No, no, I, no one should be neutral in this situation. But here, it's not what? a neutral thing. I, all I'll say is, okay. is go ahead. You finish. I, that team that scored 107 points. How, Why are we just let, say we all that team? Let's, <laughs> but, but let's ask that. Let's ask some of those kids on that team. Let's ask what their opinion of that was. 
What do you think their opinion of beating a team like that would be? We don't ever find out how those kids felt. Maybe well, we, we should can't, interview I mean, them. We can't really. But but no, I'm saying is you don't you don't hear that. But I I honestly believe that I guarantee you nobody's asking those kids that question. Nope. I mean, if they are. What are they hearing from them? What are they learning from that? What are they getting out of that? Where where is that okay for the students, for the kids? I mean, if if you and I hated each other Mm -hmm. to no ends, Mm -hmm. and you ran up a score on me Mm -hmm. five years ago, five years down the road, Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the same thing to you, Mm -hmm. what good is that teaching the kids that you have now and the kids that I have now Mm -hmm. about... Life and character, and how to do thing yeah. the right way. It's not those kids had nothing to do with five years ago, but they are now. Well, so, and I just think it causes so you can, much. You, you can look back; it was. It's not the first time the team's no. done it. No, it's I, not the second time the team's. I'm gonna put the mic on me. I'm gonna. I'm doing this on purpose. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ray's Ray's been quiet all day long. And and I've been uh, and I've been very quiet about especially this whole thing right here, right? So listen, the blue thing. I'm gonna take the blue mic and the blue mic's coming on me. Taking the blue ball, taking the blue ball. All right, so so listen. Oh my god! Are you done? Listen. So check this out. Better, check it you better turn your head and call. Check yourself <laughs> before you wreck yourself. No, sorry, we got uh, Let Ray speak. Let Ray speak. The, let Ray speak. Dude, listen. Everybody knows in this whole situation this is an unwritten rule. Right? And everybody's shaking their head yes, pretty much. There's an unwritten rule about where, when, is, when is too much too much. You know? I don't care if you're up 20. I don't care if you're up 30. I don't care if you're up 50. They were almost up 90 flipping points. 90. Okay? 9-0. When is enough enough? Okay? Number one. You have absolutely zero to prove. Zero. And if anything, it's going to piss the other team off enough to say, you know what? Next time we see you, we might just cause an absolute brawl. Seen it happen. Seen it happen? Seen it happen. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, you know, when, now, now here's another issue. Is Would Misha ever call them up and say, no. you know, no. what's what, what happened there? No. What happened there? Again, it's because it's the unwritten rule. Stop not, making an unwritten not, rule. There needs unwritten. to be a rule for that. No, what there needs to be, there needs to be a turbo clock. For after halftime, yep. where the coach who's losing by X amount of points can say, "I want to run." Mm-hmm. Once you, if you even get lower, you know, still, get runs. It, right. still, yeah. still runs. Once you have the halftime clock, it runs. Mm-hmm. Thirty-five, forty points. Where do you want to make it? Mm-hmm. And I, I'll be honest with you, I'm going to call up somebody from the uh, who's on the advisory board, and that's the thing I think I'm going to throw out there and say, mm-hmm. "This needs to happen," mm-hmm. because in games where it's lopsided. We're not dealing with a bunch of people who are just, you said it before, like, you know, getting used to losing and understand how to lose. You're going to do that, and some kids are going to absolutely go ape crap, okay? It's really hard. And, and some parent is, or some coach that, is. That's, that's, and that's the thing that's, we got to worry about is, is wait a minute, that that's, that's going to end up being the issue. That's going to be the lesson. So, yeah, that's going to be, yeah, that's a lesson. Yeah, that'll be the lesson. Yeah. And, and so then what happens? I mean, you got all kinds of issues that can stem from it. So well, let's just. You know what they're going to tell, tell you? You know what they're going to tell you, though. Get better. Get, get, get shot better. Clock. Get shot clock. Why? Don't worry What's about that? It. That Hold doesn't on. help Hold anything. If I can tell you, if I can score with that many points, no, because then if you get a shot clock, they're still it's still going to be a hundred something. They're they're going to. I'm not spending. I'm not spending eighteen hundred dollars for a damn shot clock when you can start the clock that you already have. And let it run. Hold on. I'm the fall forward guy. Yeah, you're He's fall not. Guy. I want to hear your thoughts on it. What's your <laughs> thoughts? Because well, you obviously have the opposite opinion I do. Oh, no. I don't have an opposite opinion of you do. Okay. I mean, it's going to be hard to compare a football game to a basketball game. Okay. In the aspect of 
you still got to run plays in football. You can't hold the ball. Right, right. All right, and whereas in fact, I'm going to tell you right now, if I'd have been the coach on the, of the other team, mm-hmm. I probably would have told my, I would have called a timeout, mm-hmm. and I probably would have made my son do it. I'd have said, throw the ball to them. Don't throw it to us. Throw it to them. Mm-hmm. Because what's the difference? Mm-hmm. And I saw the coach that had it happen to him, mm-hmm. who said he was fine with it. And I don't know, I don't know how you can be fine with getting beat that bad. And and, and I the run, the clock thing would be awesome if it's thirty five <coughs> at half. I mean, most games that I've it's seen over. it at thirty five at half, <laughs> it's, over. it's good. The game's over. I go back to though. I still go back to, and now that I saw the ball game, where the starter's still in, it's a district. I don't ball know game. who was you in. Get, I don't know. You none get of that fifteen. Stuff. You get fifteen roster spots. You put the daggum towel boy in and the water boy in, and then you say hold the ball. Mm-hmm. Okay. You find. <laughs> you, you just, once again, just because Full you can, forward. you walk. No, but you can walk <laughs> it up. You can. But I also go back, and and this is where we all and we get some officials on here. What can officials do? And that's it. If I'm an official, if I'm an official, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call, call every single ticky tack foul. I'm gonna walk. Through it. I'm gonna walk yeah. to the board or to the clock, and I'm gonna I'm gonna slow everything down. And if there's any, and to I'm let stopping. the time run. Yes, run. exactly. That and officials that watch your show, you guys can chime in here. At any point in time, and say, "What would you?" Well, no do one wants to that? touch the subject because everybody's scared to touch the why? subject. Why? I, I don't. I don't understand why. why. I don't think it has anything to do with Make your opinion, rule. your opinion, my opinion, or his opinion. What has? What it means and what it has to do is what is best for kids. And what lesson did either one of those two teams? And any of those kids learn from that. That's what I would say to that what coach. What lesson did either one of those? Now teams, see, and this is where, like, and I don't care if you're the on the you scored 14 points or not. Did your kids learn anything from that? Right. And this is where we talked about the football thing, and you know, and I, when I was at Crystal, we beat some teams pretty bad. It was nothing close to that. Right. But I mean, we beat some teams pretty bad, and but we did have like freshmen out there, like we had freshman linemen in there, we had freshmen. I mean, it's hard. I mean, I played a team last year that we probably could have beat that bad, and we didn't. But mm-hmm. I honestly believe that you know, and I've I've never Coach been on, <laughs> I've never been on that side of it because I would I could never find myself to do that. I, I but I don't know I don't know how how to how you would sleep at night doing something like that, and I don't know how as a grown adult Mm -hmm. how you would feel good about doing something like that. I don't care how bad, how bad the other team, because I've heard this for three, four years. Oh, well, some of those teams they play, they're that. They could have hung 200 on them. Once again, just because you can doesn't mean you should. How do you say, oh, I, I just don't understand. I don't understand how you feel accomplished like I, okay, I'll, when I was in North County, we had a couple ball games that obviously didn't get to that point. But once it got past a certain number, I'm not even worried about the game anymore. I'm worried about my kids, kids getting hurt. hurt. I'm worried about somebody on that other team that's going to take a cheap shot. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm saying you're out. You're sitting, starting five, seven, eight, nine. Well, I don't know. And, and I, I, I don't know who was it. in the game. I didn't see the game. I don't know. Well, I wasn't spending ten dollars to watch it. But so. well, yeah, <laughs> wasn't spending ten dollars to watch it. But he made that comment. I know all the ding dongs get texted me. Hey, what's the score? What's the score? What's the score? I said, pay the freaking ten dollars. Yeah, I was ticked when you right? said that. I'm like, no, we're not paying ten dollars. We we're there. Come on, the man. Score? But uh, come on. I, I just had. I haven't heard much from Miller on this. I haven't either. What's your take? He's been quiet over there. Why? Why be? I don't know. South your opinion, Iron alone. Your opinion is on everything else. But I take honestly out, take out take out South Iron. Take, take out who out, the team is. Insert. Go to Texas. No, I hey, go to I go to a game that happened at Herculaneum this year. Lower levels. Hey, all I'm going to say is, if it happened to me, you guys know how I am. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. And probably been a fist fight myself because I wouldn't have liked it. 
I don't think it's I don't think it's something to do with kids. So you're but in, I what? You're, you're, I'm uh, not. You're it, inciting violence. Me? Oh, <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen his commercials? Right. <laughs> Hate speech. That's all right. I'm about. I, I'm gonna tell you right now. I I just mm. wouldn't put up with it. But that's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the person, the coach that have to, the team that have to, it, it's that's that's them. If if that's how they feel, that's how they feel. I've, I I know I know the, all the parties involved. And it is what it is, and yeah, because I know way too many people on it. I know that if it if it happened to me, I wouldn't have taken it the same way. Maybe that's maybe that shows that they're a better person than me. Maybe it does. I don't know. I I'm not in that position because number one. I wouldn't be in that position. I can definitely say if I'm in that position, then I did something personally because I wouldn't allow my kids to have that happen. And that's all I can control is what I can control. Talking about if you're the hunter, oh wait wait no no no, no, no. If I'm, I would never do that to anybody. Then what do okay? you? But here's the thing. No, I told like, you what would happen because if we got to a certain point in the game uh -huh. where it's 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 a little bit out of control. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna address it. If I gotta burn all five timeouts mm -hmm. to have that conversation, mm -hmm. if I've gotta get sit home mm -hmm. because I'm addressing it, I'll take my team with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's just me. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean I'm right. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that whoever this happened to isn't, or they are. I don't. That's 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 beside the point. The fact of the matter is, how would I handle it? Mm -hmm. It's exactly how I'd handle it. We're not doing this anymore. Start the clock at halftime. I'll tell them to do it. If they don't do it, I'll contest the game. Mm -hmm. That's not in the rule book. You know what, then? I'm taking my team. We're going to get out of here yeah. before anything happens. Because you guys have got it. It's in the bag. Congratulations. Shake your hand. And let's go. See you. Yeah. I agree. And if you don't here, like it, here's my I don't question. give a rats. Yeah. But here's my question. Does that show bad sportsmanship? Let someone tell me that that's bad sportsmanship <laughs> to walk off that court. How much heat will you get, though? From who? That's what I'm saying. For who? Much, that's, Anybody. That's what Wait a minute. That's what I, people I are worried think, about. I think for the last couple of weeks that I, I think there's been enough internet trolls that have popped up <laughs> in my school. <laughs> ha, I knew that was good. Ha, I get enough stuff anyway. Do you think I care? I got to look myself in the mirror at the end of the day <laughs> and say, right. did I do what's right by my yes. kids and my program? Yeah. And if I can say, yeah, I don't give a damn what any person on this earth thinks. That's, I got to look myself in yeah. the mirror every night. Let, let's, let's take a quick poll. Should there be a rule put in place for something like I, that? I agree. What kind of rule? Yes. Heck yeah. Yes. Some yes. sort of rule. For what? I think it's a rule that one well, the you, clock you, 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 is a good thing. You, the clock you, is the listen, only thing. No, yeah, no, 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 listen, no, no. The clock is the only thing you can control yeah, in this situation. You can't right. put another. You can't you say can't you can't. Uh, once you score this many points, if the margins this, if the game is over. No, but you can Why run not? the clock. Why not? You can run the clock. We're on the clock. Okay. Well, here's here's because you can't, you it, dog it, me it, about it, CYC, but I remember uh, this one rule way back in the day, and this is when I was really young. If if you if the other team scored twenty points, they couldn't press anymore. Mm -hmm. Once they got the twenty that points, was like you could press. When I coached, little, right? Little okay. Kids. okay. So, no. so what's the difference between no. that rule no. and putting it in the high school? Rule? It doesn't matter. I, I, the only thing you can control that at the highest level of high school, of school basketball is the clock. You want to run He's the saying, second quarter? I know what you're saying. You can't He's saying, but you can look at soccer. You can look at baseball. <laughs> you can look at you can look at softball. Everything. You know, you get to a certain point, the ball game's just done. I, I, so that's but you're talking, saying, you're talking about you're softball, the game doesn't have a clock. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Uh, but soccer, soccer's the same way. Soccer has soccer, soccer, never soccer the officials can add staff. time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a real game. I'm just saying, when the officials there are can sports. Add, oh when they can gosh. add time, you're the master it of all time. It's no, still yeah. a sport, no. and it's still a high school sport. Yeah. That's what Ray's saying. Right. If it can be done in other sports, why not in right. every well, sport? Yeah. Or why not here's a Here's a post from Kevin Holly. I've often wondered if an ethics committee within MISHA would have been, would have been effective change. That's an ethics question. It really is, isn't it? That's ethics. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah. Because, well, you, you because that's why I said. Listen, you go, here's your here's your, no, here's your deal. Here's your deal. Here's your deal. He turned the ball. The, the yeah. coach, the the ball's over here. I got the ball. Oh, I got the ball. I got the ball. Um, here's the deal. I guarantee you, this is what this is what Coach from South Iron said. We gotta get our we gotta get our team ready for 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 the next for the next level. 
impressive. Up 90? What more could you tune up? Okay. And then you've got the other end of that saying, you know what? That's on me. That's on me. No, it's, it's really not on you. There's somewhere in between there. And I know that you're not wanting to say anything about this, Chris, but I'm going to call it out what it, what it was. It's not cool on either side. I told you how it's not. It's not. This is the only thing I can speak of is me. Oh, I mean, I had a coach tell me one time, he was up 50 or so, and we go into the third quarter, and he said, I'm going to, I got to work on this press for the next game. Like, yeah. You've already pressed us enough, bro. You ain't going to get no better. Right. Yeah. This is not going to help you. Uh, we can't get a pass half court. So, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Kevin Holly, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I didn't want to. I changed the mood of the show tonight. No, no, but no, I no. wanted it to be talked about because I just. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how. <coughs> I, there ain't no way I would have stood for a picture with the guy afterwards. There ain't no way. Uh, no. But you it's not like it's just – that happens all across the country. It happens every year. You hear Texas, the coaches getting fired, the ADs get fired. You, you, yep. you see it on the East Coast, the same thing out in California. So it's not like it's only in rural Missouri. It's all across the nation. Oh, I agree. And, which – I don't know what the answer. I, I still just go back to what's the point of purpose of what you were trying to do. Like, give, give me your why. What 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 was the reason why you would do that? Well, here, here's the thing that I'll, I'll I'll say before we finish it up, but all together um, is I honestly believe that, and I know Coach Jenkins, you know, pretty well as far as as. Um, he's been around the game long enough, and he, he's had it, I'm sure, happen to him at some point down the road. Um, but but I believe that, I mean, he's done My team a lot of – That's an idea. Okay. You can do that. That is an idea. Yeah. That's I mean, like the opposite. Just kept, you can just yeah. keep fouling. Yeah. That's like and the then, opposite. And then, uh-oh, you may hurt yeah. someone. Yeah. I mean, yeah. not intentionally because you're I, fouling. But I, I mean – That's like the opposite of North, Northwest right there. Yeah. Totally. He has done his team and his kids a big-time justice by playing up and playing these good competitions oh, yes, all year did. long because he didn't want this situation to happen. Um, and, and this is postseason play, and I get – he can't pick and choose who he wants to play in postseason. But, I mean, I think he's done the right things I'm as far as schedule-wise. I think it is. Excuses. I mean, but I also believe at this that point. At Why where, you, at what, what can you do? There's no, there's no justification. There's when no justification. I don't care if it's, if it's CYC, Little League, if it's baseball, football, basketball, high school. There's no justification. Man, what can there's you do no excuse. There's no justification to say, oh, well, we, we scored, you know, 90 points. Uh, what was the football team down south? 80 to, 80 to nothing. There's no justification you can do. There's no excuse. There's nothing that you can do that explains that away. No. If your point and purpose as a coach is to not only teach the game, play it the right way, but also be a leader of men, a leader of young women, and also to teach the morals and ethics and values that sports brings. If that is your purpose, then there's no excuse. You have zero excuse. You are not above reproach on this. No. And there is an issue that should be addressed, period. Well, we'll have to address it next time. Uh, is it getting late? Oh, my gosh. It's getting late. Yeah, we were I didn't really realize it was too let, let, me take, let me take a quick poll here. Who, who, would, who would just – Throw a ninety on, on, on any of these any of these teams. Raise your hand. No, we were up we were up twenty five or something in our JV game last night, uh, and we put in. I pulled out kids that normally play four quarters of JV. They only played two. Some of them only played one. Right. Some of them right. played three, and we only ended up winning by twenty, but we still won by twenty. Right. And uh, you know, yeah, I could have. We could have beat them by fifty. But, but you didn't. No. No. So all four of you wouldn't have done that. Enough said. Right? No, I definitely wouldn't have done that. No, I would not 90. I don't know how you even get it to that. Okay. 
I mean, we, we kept the ball away from the team last night for almost three minutes. There's the music. Hey! Oh, the balls have spoken. <laughs> the blue balls have That's spoken. That's all they want, the ball. Why are you putting an ass on it? You know, who, you know what else has the one ball. Hey. Lance Armstrong. <laughs> oh, my God. With that being said, we're going to get out of here. You can watch the Coach's Box. We'll see you next week. Unbelievable.